Here we have um, a couple of uh, antifreeze valves that we're now using to protect the majority of our air source heat pump installations um, from freezing. So these will be used instead of glycol on a system. They're found uh, externally to the rear of the unit, uh, normally just off the flexi pipes. Um, they're fitted at low levels, so they need to be fitted at or below the level of the outlets and inlets on the heat exchanger of the heat pump. Um, they need to be 150 millimeters off the floor and 100 millimeters apart. So this valve is a, a mechanical safety device. Uh, it basically protects, so if you have a failure of the air heat pump, uh, most air source heat pumps have an internal uh, safe mode where they'll keep the primary water that's inside the pipework above say eight degrees. So this is electronic protection, but obviously relies on the heat pump functioning. So in the event of failure, uh, this valve here dumps the contents of the primary water below four degrees. Uh, inside here is a little file which basically contracts in those cold temperatures and releases the seal and then drops the contents of the primary water out through the bottom. So the valve itself is uh, simply a 28 mil compression valve. You can get different sizes if your primary pipework is larger. Um, the bottom sort of branch section you see here is the part that is serviceable and has the inner workings of it uh, which contract in cold weather. Uh, so if you have a valve that is say um, drop the contents of the water uh, and you need to refill the system and it is still below three or four degrees outside you might have very very cold external temperatures you can actually wind this bottom section of the valve out and that will drop the seal seal the actual uh, seal this section here and allow water part to pass through without dropping out the, the, the bottom of the valve. So if you're doing, uh, even if perhaps you're doing a cold fill, the valve is brand new and it hasn't, um, hasn't released, uh, you, you'd still need to do this perhaps on a cold fill situation, drop that bottom part of the valve out, fill the system, get it up and running, and then you can wind that section back in uh, once the system has a little bit of temperature in it.